a charity function, Mega was utterly destroyed by Kevin Costner when she naively declared, I want your estate. Thanks to Meghan Markle, Prince Harry, Ellen DeGeneres, Winfrey, and other people, Kevin Costner had an amazing weekend. Some said, hello, guys, it'll be hard for me to beat this incredible time we had last weekend at the 1 to 805 SB supporting the vital first responders of our area. The Yellowstone actor posted gorgeous photographs of Meghan and Harry on Instagram. They've supported us through some really trying times, he said, and it was wonderful to be able to assist our community together to honor their achievements. During their unexpected visit at Kevin Costner's 100-805 live chair of event for first responders last weekend, Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, and her husband Prince Harry reconnected with their pals Ellen DeGeneres, Oprah Winfrey, and others. Meghan Markle had an embarrassing moment during Kevin Costner's Oz charity fundraiser when she unintentionally grabbed the microphone from the host. The video of this awkward incident at the 1805 live event went viral, and Tom Bauer commented on it during the GB News interview. He found the situation amusing, pointing out that Meghan seemed to think that her $12,000 ticket gave her the right to speak, as she may have imagined she could make a speech about her experience similar to her time at the Invictus Games in Germany. As a result, Meghan was rejected from the Hollywood event. Meghan greeted the other guests after giving Gosner an honorary award. When Kevin Costner talked about his impolite buddies asking him how much his property was worth, some royal fans speculate that he could have been talking to Meghan and Harry. Speculation about Meghan's potential cover-up stemmed from her earlier social media post about Kevin's property value. The video evidence seemed to support this theory, with Meghan continuously facing the camera, possibly to flaunt her celebrity status. However, the videos also captured the awkward moment, with Harry waving his hands, expecting the MC to hand Meghan the microphone. Meghan's hands trembled as she nearly dropped the award, which she then handed to Harry to present to Kevin. This could have been a sign that Kevin didn't think highly of her, which could explain why she avoided looking at him during their conversation. Before Kevin Costner eventually got involved and grinned, Another video showed Meghan smiling and kneeling over as if to attempt to downplay the situation. Other headlines seemed to indicate that Meghan's attempts to shine at the event didn't work out. Following their decisions about the school for underprivileged children, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have come under fire for acting like an abhorrent duo of disgrace. An agreement for the event was necessary, which prohibited the sharing of images or stories for financial benefit. Administered to youngsters as young as seven years old, the release form has also been referred to as a gag order. The gag order was put in place, according to Sky News Australia, to prevent embarrassing stories from being revealed to the public. O'Brien disobeyed every rule pertaining to the gag order during her interview with anchor Chris Kenny. She mentioned several things they were not permitted to say like the true reason the school and the students consented to it in the first place and that in order to draw this cup home, they had to genuinely agree. Before ending her speech, O'Brien said, I think it's an absolutely appalling way to treat schoolchildren and teachers, even though she had previously criticized the genders for the move. These two truly are a shame.